the way that I come up with ideas comes from, I start doodling characters and the characters that I keep coming back to, the ones that I keep looking at and keep thinking about, that's when my brain thinks, oh, there's something there. And then I start expanding on that and putting other characters together and thinking of the world and the dynamics. But I don't really feel like I have a show idea until I have a relationship. Once I have a relationship of how these characters work, then I think there's a show. So with this show, it, it started with a little kind of evil looking gremlin, a little funny guy who eventually became Fu. And so I just, I really liked this guy and he had little bird friends and he had little seed friends and there were interesting things going on. One drawing I did, he had a, he had a little helmet. And I thought, oh, it's funny, the bird, the bird is sort of like this little safe character. And the more I started to do it, I realized, oh, I relate to the bird, I'm totally the bird. And once I had that, I said, there's the show, I knew it. And so I started to kind of put other side characters in it, but the main core, that's what I brought into Nickelodeon and said, here it's these three characters and it's about them and this is how they relate and this is what they do. And for me, it was really easy because the character was very much based on me. Well, coming into this show, I knew I wanted to do a couple of things. One was I needed to work with some different kinds of voices. You have to kind of get some fresh blood to really do something a little different. So with Tumblr, it was really inspiring to see all these artists I'd never heard of who were so good and were putting their work out there. It actually kept me really inspired to see all that stuff. And I started making a list of people that I, that I really liked and that I thought next time I do something, they might be right for this. And so I started reaching out to different people just out of the blue online, just saying, hey, would you be interested in taking a test? I'm putting together this show, is this something you'd like to do? And most of them had just been doing their own comics. Very few of them actually had ever had any animation experience, but they were storytellers. And knowing that I had come from that same path, I felt like it could work. 75% of the board artists that I hired on this show had no animation experience. And they were hired solely off their test, other work they had done that I had liked, and then each person I would have a, a phone call or a video chat with. And so if I felt comfortable enough that it could be a good fit and I liked their work, I'd say, come on down, let's try it out. And it worked really well with, with almost everybody. 